Well, it's hard for the commentaries to delineate what happened between Tuesday and Wednesday, but uh, we're in event nine, it likely Tuesday or Wednesday, and we're in Jerusalem, and Jesus has been put to the test by the Sadducees, by the scribes, and by the Pharisees. And we find the next event, 9, in Matthew 22, 41 and following, Mark 12, 55 and following, and Luke 20, verse 41 and following. Uh, since the Sadducees and the scribes and the Pharisees had all taken a shot at Jesus, testing him, Jesus now turns to the Pharisees. In verse 41, he says, What do you think about Christ? whose son they said David's son and he said well then why did David say to him my Lord sit at my right hand until I put thine enemies at thy feet if David called him Lord how is it his he is his son well, you think about that for a second. Uh, if Jesus was only the son of David, and of course he was in the lineage of David and he would be on the throne of David forever, but if he was only a son, then why did David call him Lord? No one was able to answer a word. And so they didn't ask him any more questions. Now, Mark was telling us in this same passage that they were in the temple and uh, was saying that he was asking the scribes, those that were experts in the law. And uh, in Luke, we find that some of the scribes, uh, after he had answered the questions that they had posed to him, said, you have answered well. Also, Luke tells us that the book of Psalms was the place that Jesus quoted, and it was Psalm 1. 10 verse 1 and we find also in the Gospel of Luke uh, that Jesus went on to say beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes love the respect uh, and the chief seats in the places of honor in the banquets and devour widows houses uh, and love to be heard for their long prayers uh, for uh, they are praying more to themselves than they are and for the people than they are to God. Well, what do we find here? We find that Jesus is the Son of God, not the Son of David, but he is from the lineage of David and uh, that is through his parenting uh, of his mother. Uh, but he was God in the flesh and uh, that's why David referred to him in Psalm 110 verse 1 as Lord. And so we know that the Christ is Lord. We know that he's the Son of God. We know he's in the lineage of David and that he'll reign on David's throne forever. Uh, and we certainly know that you have to be careful of legalists like the scribes uh, who are in the whole area of religion for the self-respect and uh, and the honor of um, banquets and places. And we need to be careful uh, that pastors don't become like that where they uh, are only in it because of the honor and the position and not because they really are servants. And so we need to be careful uh, that uh, pastors don't become those people that are looking for only for honor and respect. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. We all earned our wages, which is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, that means there's nothing we can do to earn it or deserve it. It's a free gift of God. It's by grace and grace alone, but that's not freedom to just continue in sin either. And the way that we receive it is in Romans 10 verse nine. If we confess with our mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 
Well, I hope that you know for certain that you're going to heaven. I hope that you've turned away from sin and self, turned to Jesus alone, who gives by grace eternal life. Yeah, yes, it, there is some surrender involved, and yes, there is a, a turning away from sin, but that's not how we earn heaven. We don't earn it. We, des we get it from him as a gift, and that's what the scripture says clearly. It's by grace and grace alone. God bless you and have a great day.